Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to Enlightened Hearts. I'm Naoma. I have a message. It started coming in yesterday. I want to start with um, the verse from Scripture from Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And the good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world so that the nations will hear it and then the end will come. Then I heard something wicked this way comes from Macbeth. And when I looked it up, it was Act 4, Scene 1, where Macbeth went to go see the witches. He went to go see the witches to find out his fate. And, um, anyway, when he was walking up to where they were at, they said, by the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. And then Macbeth asked them to use their art, and I, and I say that with quotations, their art to tell him if he'll be king. Something wicked this way comes. And I heard that in conjunction with the Matthew 24 verse. The divine message of the kingdom will be shared across the entire earth. Reading the hearts, or I'm sorry, reaching the hearts and spirits of all people, uniting them in truth and love, and then the culmination of this age will unfold. Cue the internet. <laughs> the good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world. Well, we've reached that. With the dawning of the internet, we are now able to reach people that, you know, Jesus in his time, he knew, but his disciples never could have possibly imagined. We're in that age. So, <clears throat> just as Macbeth sought the witch's art to discern his fate, we too must use our discernment and spiritual insight to navigate the profound shifts and messages as the end times approach. And there's a lot of talk in, with the politics right now. And really, since the 2020 election the end times and understanding the prophecies surrounding the end times I've taken it on as a personal message as a personal mission to understand to understand and I finally have a um, grip I think on what exactly the end times are and it's just you know just as the representation of the death card it's more a transformation it's more a transformation I mean you know looking at looking at prophecy you know we go to the book of Ezekiel and read about um, the, the battle of Magog Gog and Magog and we can see in that this um, disruption that's going on with the blue and yellow country now look use your discernment read between the lines okay the bear with the four bones in its mouth. <clears throat> we can kind of see what's going on. You're going to catch your tail on fire, sir.
anyway we can kind of we can kind of see it i mean you know there's talk about in in that there's talk about the um missiles and the tanks and the colors and there's definitely correlation there and we can see that we've reached that transition the whole world is going through trials and tribulations right now yes the book of revelation is generational it, everybody goes through the book of revelation in their life that seven year period of you know tribulation where they finally have that come to jesus moment um but the world is going through that right now as we transition into the age of aquarius and just like a woman in travail, just like a woman giving birth, it starts out slow and it reaches a climax. And we haven't quite got to that climax yet. But in order to birth something new, in order to give birth to a baby, a lot of pain has to happen. And for, you know, again, just like a woman giving birth, some women can go through that process quickly. And if they go through it quickly, there is a lot of intensity. Fast intensity. And if it happens slowly... It's long and drawn out and hurts more okay so we kind of want to get through all these trials like we kind of want to get through it quick and it's gonna hurt <sighs> something wicked this way comes And I'm seeing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of illusions surrounding, surrounding this illusion. Come on, cat. Anyway, there's a lot of illusions surrounding this election. And I'm beginning to see that, you know, not everything is as it seems, regardless of what side of the fence you sit on. Nothing is as it seems and there's a big call to be using your discernment during this time and the shadow aspect of myself would really like to say it's all it's all bullshit and it doesn't affect me which it, you know I mean really it doesn't affect me at all look there's four swords meditate on it um, yeah, I want to say it's all bullshit and it doesn't affect me because I live in my own little world, but, you know, I mean, the fact of the matter is because of the status that I hold in the 5D and people that are waking up can see that I get a lot throughout the course of a day even, I get a lot of questions people really value my opinion and my insights on things and I cannot escape what is going on right now. Queen of Cups. It's, we're all tangled together. It's all, there is one big web that is being weaved or woven and, um, yeah, we kind of have to, we really, really, really have to use our discernment to, uh, don't, damn it. And we really have to use our discernment to see through the illusion. And with that being said...
I'm calling all my angels and ancestors to come in and I'm going to pull a couple cards. So can you please give me the most concise, clear message for the collective, what they need to know today. The Eight of Earth Guardians and the Chariot. Yeah, so a lot of you are putting in and have mastered. You've mastered the work and now you're getting ready to shift. Many of you are shifting into this. This knowing, being able to tap, in, tap into the crystal grid, right? See beyond the veil. See outside the cave and see the illusion. spirit also seven one seven just like the roots of a tree go deep into the earth to receive minerals to receive nutrients and water it's important at this time that those who have not come out of the cave yet it's very important that you dive deep and start doing the work so that you can open your eyes to spread your roots deep in order to move forward. There's a lot of purple here. There's a lot of, this is crown chakra energy. Yeah, in order to be able to change and heal the world, it's, you know, coming out of that cave and, you know, shifting our thought processes, shifting our energy to a more developed and higher frequency. We can transform Look at this card. Let's see. I mean, look at this card. Down here at the earth. Look at all the people around the earth holding hands. You know, we can, we can and will be the change that this world needs. No, you go. <clears throat> you know, over the course of the years, I have really changed my opinions and my beliefs surrounding what religion could be, what spirituality is. 
really staying away from new age and understanding you know with it with the with the understanding that we're all connected and we're all one that unity like it has developed into something so much more for me you know and i often i'm i'm baptized methodist okay But I was baptized by the Holy Spirit before I ever got baptized in a church. The baptism in the church was important. But it was waking up to the reality that we really are all connected. And that churches, the denominations of religion are demonic. You hear me? Denominations. Demonic. It's all meant to divide. It's all meant to divide. There's no unity. There's none. And our mm, our ruling entity of this planet, the sun, some call him Ra. He, it, Akhenaten had it mostly right, or, well, he had it somewhat right. I mean, you know, humanity has only been given pieces of the puzzle. But that whole religion of one is it's a it's true i mean we all come from one source we're all just tiny pieces of one source all right what else what should the collective get to know this morning That three of portals with the three of cups and geometric coherence. Yeah. From the micro to the macro, we're all connected. We're all connected. It's very important for the world to understand that. It's so important. The good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world. Well, the good news of the kingdom the good news is that we're all connected. We are all just a small fractal of a very larger thing. Much larger thing. And we must become like small children in order to enter into the kingdom. Heal your inner child. in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. We're not going to die. We're not going to be raptured. We're not, you know, I mean, the rapture started. The rapture started at the beginning of the year on the Christmas, on the portal of Christmas, 1225. Go back and watch my message. I talked about it all the way back in December on this channel. Rapture's already begun. The rapture is about illumination, enlightenment, elevation, ascension.
the ascension is about our enlightenment. It's about understanding that we're part of a very, very, very big thing. And we're only a small part of it. And we need to humble ourselves to understand how really small we actually are we actually are and I don't feel like I'm speaking English this morning but I hope that this message is clear all right I'm gonna leave this here I'm gonna try to get the tree of life spread done for the um, see I did water yesterday so it'll be air today and I love you guys I'll see you on the next one later